And I think this quote from John McCarthy, who is one of the founders of modern artificial intelligence, really sums it up. As soon as it works, we don't call it AI anymore. 6月20日からマグハリメッセで開かれた AWS サミットアマゾンが展開するクラウドサービスの見本市ですが注目のトピックはやはり AI 人工知能です Large language models is not the last step I actually think these are just the first two or three steps into a marathon Technologies will change rapidly in the coming years How will they look like? Well I don't have a crystal ball, but I do know there's some very exciting technologies just around the corner. There's a number of problems that actually already exist today, as well as ones that are coming our way pretty soon that we as technologists need to take responsibility for to help solve them. And AI can be a very important tool in all of that. Amazon.com の CTO バーナー・ボーガー氏は AI はビジネスの成長だけでなく世界規模の課題解決にも重要だと強調しましたそして基調講演で最も注目されたのが Thanks, アメリカの AI 企業アンソロピックの共同創業者であるジャレッド・カプラン氏3年前オープン AI をやめた兄弟が設立したアンソロピック20日にはチャット g p t のような対話型 AI の最新モデルクロード 3.5 を発表先行するオープン AI のチャット g p t や Google のジェミニの性能を超えるとしました18万人ほどの人材を抱える Google などに比べると会社の規模ははるかに小さくクロードの開発費も競合の5分の1程度チーフサイエンティストでもあるカプラン氏がテレビ東京の単独インタビューに応じました。Yeah, so the way that scaling and AI capabilities work is that there's sort of two key ingredients. There's、uh, the amount of compute you use to train AI models, but there's also the algorithmic advances that make them more cost competitive and more efficient for customers. So there's a lot of competitors like OpenAI or Google or、um, a lot of them, Mr. AI. Yeah.、Um, what is your、um, uniqueness comparing with these? Competitors. Yeah, it's a great question. So I think one of them is that、uh, the founders of Anthropic、uh, were some of the people who discovered scaling laws, developed GPT 3, and kind of first figured out that AI systems were going to become more and more capable via scaling.、Um, and that really led us in thinking about the future to be very concerned about the way AI systems would be used, whether they would be safe,、um, whether or not they could be trusted, et cetera. So we founded Anthropic with sort of that at the center of what we were doing. Anthropic には Amazon が40億ドル、日本円でおよそ6300億円の投資を行い、関係を強化しています。その Anthropic が強調するのは安全性。ユーザーの会話データは学習に使わないと言います。In terms of information security, Anthropic is really trying to be、uh, leading in protecting、uh, the, the information security of our models to make sure they, they can't be hacked. And I, I think looking forward, what we have is something we call the responsible scaling policy, which is basically designed to ensure that if AI systems become more capable, we always have security and safety measures in place before we release them to ensure that there aren't any problems or, or accidents. So, in terms of models that are deployed now, we use this idea of constitutional AI, which is a way to use AI systems to supervise themselves to adhere to a transparent list of principles we call a constitution. And that helps to make our models more trustworthy and secure in a very efficient way、um, without having to use humans to sort of test models uh, uh, on the front lines to, to make them safe. Do you think like、uh, our 
generative, like a, a video generating AI is kind of too dangerous for human beings? I think there are unique challenges associated with video. I mean, especially around misinformation and elections. So we are not currently deploying any generative video models, but, uh, but I think those are the kinds of challenges you might face、um, in that area. 実はアンソルピックと日本は無縁ではありませんクロードのモデルの一つは俳句という名前が付けられています今回が2度目の来日だというカプラン氏にその理由を聞きましたアンソルピックと日本。